number eight. So this is number nine. So it's asking us what, what intermolecular forces are present in ethanol. So ethanol, you can, uh, I'm going to draw ethanol as, I'm going to draw ethanol a couple of times here. So ethanol, I can say it's this guy here. Uh, a line diagram of ethanol is like is given so, or you can write basically this is CH3, CH2OH, right? Again, I have three hydrogens here and two hydrogens here, right? H, H, and H, and H, and H here. So CH3, CH2 would be ethanol here. So if I were to draw, again, a diagram, uh, a, a condensed structural diagram, it might be able to... Um, I'm going to be able to help you uh, visualize the intermolecular forces here. So let me draw this out for you. So what do I have? What intermolecular uh, forces are present here? So let's look at the most obvious one, which is uh, the strongest intermolecular force um, in terms of um, in terms of um, the, uh, the in terms of covalent compounds here. It's going to be my hydrogen bonding, right? So again, this here first, I have hydrogen bonding is present in ethanol, right? So hydrogen bonding, again, this H is bonded to this F here. These two guys, again, uh, these two guys here, um, I have hydrogen bonding, very strong hydrogen bonding, because I have, again, it, uh, hydrogen is bonded to either uh, N, O, or F here. In this case, it's bonded to O. So again, this here is a very, 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 um, is very very strong electron uh, strong uh, bond in terms of intermolecular, intermolecular forces is one of the strongest ones because of the electronegativity difference between hydrogen and oxygen here. So hydrogen bonding exists in ethanol. Number two, dipole dipole also exists in in uh, ethanol here because I have a partial negative charge on my oxygen here. So this here is pulling electron density away from my carbon, right? Where carbon here, the electronegativity difference between carbon and oxygen is great. So therefore I have a dipole, dipole, uh, dipole, dipole um, force here as well. So I have one, two, um, which is great. And then finally, my third, uh, last but not least, I have London dispersion forces. And this is the weakest uh, uh, intermolecular force in this compound here. So I have London dispersion forces but it's, this, is, this contributes very, very little in terms of my intramolecular forces. And it's basically, it's just the weak electrostatic forces that, that are formed in these, uh, the carbon hydrogen bondings here. So let's see here, solution here. Um, uh, solution says ethanol is polar covalent, has OH bond, that's good. Um, hydrogen atom of one ethanol molecule will react with OH bond of another ethanol molecule to form a hydrogen bonding between the molecules. So this here is good. So I have hydrogen bonding uh, with, uh, with he here as well. And I don't think they said dipole dipole or dispersion forces here. So I believe that this, 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 this solution here is incomplete because they forgot dipole dipole and London dispersion forces. So ethanol contains a hydrogen bonding, dipole, dipole, and London dispersion forces so they 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 basically they, they uh the solution gave us gave us definitions of all intermolecular forces but missed out on dipole dipole and london dispersion forces in the solution in the answer i'll say so this solution i'm gonna say is incomplete because they forgot to mention dipole dipole and london dispersion here Thank you.